everybody. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> hi, welcome back to another segment of K5. So I'm here today with myself, obviously, and Gu. Hi, this is Gu. This is Kaya. You don't say your name, but anyways, <laughs> today is Monday here, and we're gonna have one more edition of Kishu. Kishu, never actually. And this is the day we're gonna talk about some news and like what's been going on, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So, so the court dismisses the request to end the contract with Cube Entertainment. Oh yes. my goodness, Cube has been going through so much over these I last know, couple of years. Right? On Oct <laughs> November 21st, the Seoul Central District Court dismissed <laughs> to, susp <laughs> to suspend his exclusive contract with Cube Entertainment, meaning his ex exclusive contract with the company still holds. And Cube Entertainment decided they wanted to speak on this, so they issued the following statement on November 21st. Whatever, Cube, really no one cares what you have to say, but I'm going to read it anyway. So, hello, this is Cube Entertainment. Today, the Seoul Central District Court decided to dismiss our agency artist Lai Kunlin, Kuanlin's mm -hmm. request to suspend his exclusive contract with the company, which was submitted in July. So this guy, he's on Cube, and he went to 101, he was in 101, and then after 101, you know, was over, he was, was supposed to go back to his company and start doing his own stuff, right, in oh, Cube. Oh, he was in 101? Yeah, yeah, he was in 101. And so apparently, he was like, in July, he stated that like, you see, like, he stated, site stated that Cube had taken actions that violated their contract, including selling his management rights to the third party, and therefore like, Wang Lin had lost trust in the agency, so that's why he was filling this lawsuit against Cube, so they would like, you know, part ways and each of them would go another way, but apparently, yeah, that's not gonna happen anymore and they're gonna keep together, right? Anyways, our company, well, uh, they're, uh, talking about their decision, what their statement was, just so you guys know, our company welcomes the court's decision and we inform you once again that there is no reason for the termination of the exclusive contract between Cube and Lai. Apparently this is them saying like there was no reason for the termination of the contract, but who who are you to say whether exactly. or not? Exactly. Well, that's the thing. The company is always I like this and like, oh no, like we're going to take care of the artists. Don't worry. Like, oh, we're going to like, you know, find like, how, how do you say it? Like amicable? What, what was the word? Amigo? Oh, where was it? That amicable. Was the, yes. For, amicable. For both of us, you know, to keep working together. But of course they don't want to lose an artist because a lot of people really like this guy, especially because he was in 101. So it would be a big loss for them. Like, I mean, they lost already Hyona. They ended four minutes. They lost one of like, you know, from, I was going to say money. No, E down from Pentagon. So like now they have Pentagon CLC. And so like they losing another artist would not be good for them. So of course they, they must have done the, the most to keep this guy there and I hope he, you know, even though he's in the company that he doesn't trust anymore, I hope he can, you know, find a good way of working with them and everybody, everything turns well for I agree. his career. Mellon Music Awards is not going to be on TV, mm. apparently, like they're not going to broadcast that on TV, is that correct? I'm not even sure I've ever heard of the Melon Music Awards. M Do not M go on I think, uh, Oh, they just say MMA. I've never heard of them just like saying Melon Mu Music Awards. Awards. Yeah, I usually hear the acronym. I don't hear like the full thing. So this is actually news to me too. So apparently it's not going to be broadcast on TV. But that's the thing. In Korea, I feel like a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you go to any like hotel or if you go like to a guest or whatever like because i've never been to like a korean house but i feel like a lot of koreans do like do enjoy watching tv and we can see that because of like you know music shows like you know inkigayo music core blah 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 we have that every day of the week and not only that we have the variety programs we have like documentary programs news so in korea like for, in brazil it's not anymore like everybody's watching netflix mm. but in korea a lot of people watch tv so like korean fans were like you know raging about like why they're not gonna broadcast the Mellon Awards on TV and blah 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 really? but at the same time you can actually like watch it in the Wonder K YouTube channel you can watch on your t like on Kakao Talk yes and you can also like uh, go to the mobile app of Mellon so you can watch it on different like streaming platforms I just mm. said but you cannot watch it on TV then again people could easily catch those on like YouTube or the streaming services that they offer in Korea because if I wanted to watch that, I could literally search it in any in, on Neighbor, and I can find whatever service I have to pay for just to watch a replay of it, whether it be day, night, or whatever. And I know they're trying to come up with things 
like different ways you can watch like streaming services live. So live, I, don't, yeah. I don't really feel like I'm missing out if I don't see it on TV because regardless, we're going to hear about it. So yeah, the next news is Momoland's Daisy and Teha is still absent. Fans want a statement from agency. Both members are currently on hi hi hiatus? Yes. Hiatus due to undisclosed personal and health reasons. On March 20, Momoland made a comeback as a seven-member group with the album Show Me. So there are nine members, actually. Momoland is a nine-membered group. Mm -hmm. But so since March, they're still absent. So like it's been months and like nobody knows what's going on. To be honest, I don't like the fact that some of these companies just don't address when the artist is leaving. Like, they, you could say the artist has left the group for this period of time for undisclosed reasons, and if we have an update in between that time, we'll let you know. Like, they could say something like that. But they literally just said for personal reasons, they're just absent. That's and it. And they disappeared for and months. Never said anything, never updated, just constantly probably doing these promos, these teasers, all this stuff, shooting, recording, performing, without these, like, these two missing members who is... Daisy and Teha. So why do you think that you don't owe the, the fan base an explanation? The people who are supporting you, paying, paying for you guys to stay afloat, giving you money, and I'm not talking about Momoland's members because it's not their responsibility. It's not. They have a publicist, they have a PR rep, they have all exactly. of these things, managers. All of these people in charge who are not giving the fans responses, this is your fault. It doesn't fall on the group members. And I'm pretty sure the group members are under du duress because they're being pressured from their fans to answer these questions too. And they can't speak for themselves because they're controlled by this company. Yes. Oh, the tea. Getting mad. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's really weird because it's been months, two of the members together, no details whatsoever. And they they literally disappeared. They literally disappeared. Like, so... It's really weird. Some of fans were like, you know, really like sad about this issue because not only that, I they were talking about Yanu, that is another member, and then she was sick and like she got something like, you know, she she had some issues too. So a lot of people in the comments are like, is this company crazy? Like, are they going through so much hardships and like, you know, they suffering? Is this idol thing too like making they they go like, you know, breaking their legs or anything or going crazy because it must be really hard because with Momo Lens, you know, they were out of the spotlight and then they got Boom Boom, which mm -hmm. was a hit, right? You mm -hmm. know, Boom Boom was like, everyone was listening to Boom Boom. And after that, they tried to keep, you know, that image and trying to do similar songs and trying to like keep it up with the fame. But then at some point, people kind of forgot, like they got out of the spotlight again and then two members disappeared and another one is sick. So like, what's up with this company? Like. What's going on? Like, I can only imagine what's, what they've been going through. So, like, you know, for all of this. Um, it's really sad. That something is wrong. Something is really fishy about this. And, yeah. Something. Everybody wants to know. But, like, since March, like, they're not telling anything. I don't think we're going to hear anything, like, for the next day. So, yeah. So much for Thank tuning you. in and we can't wait to see you tomorrow when we have some positive news i hope <laughs>